Rachel and Casey are combing the neighborhoods near downtown Boston for their first home. They've looked at three great places and want to take a final look at each one before making their big decision. Listed for $460,000, their first option is a two-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath home in just over 1,300 square feet. Cute. What do you think? I still like it a lot. Yeah, I like it a lot too. I mean, it's got a lot of space. It's got more space than any place we've looked at. Yeah, I like that it's like a single-family house rather than a condo. It is also uh, the most expensive place. I mean, that's right at the top. We'd really have to stretch. But it is, it is awfully cute. At $411,000, option number two is a two-bedroom, two-bath condo in just over 1,000 square feet. Yeah, the place had a great open layout. I mean, it had a lot of the things that we were looking for. The roof deck was awesome. I loved the views up there. It'd be fun to have people over. It's not like a part of the city that I'm super familiar with, so that would be something that would be different. I, mean, I think you have to compromise a little bit on certain things. And Southie is still a very nice neighborhood. And when you wrap into that, the price of it is definitely one that we should think hard about. Should we go check out the last one? Yeah, absolutely. Right. At $439,000, option three is a 1,200 square foot, three bedroom, two bath penthouse condo. I love this place. It's so adorable. It's got three bedrooms, which is more than we thought we'd be able to yeah. you know, pay for. So, And it feels like the biggest place, even though I think technically the one in Charlestown was bigger. Outside deck was a bit small, though. But it's definitely within our price range, mm -hmm. which is nice for the amount of space we're talking about here. So, Yeah, I don't know how we're going to pay. We'll figure it out. So which one did they choose? And the place we chose was? Charlestown. It was just a, a single family house, which we really liked, and it was the perfect neighborhood for us. The asking price for the place was 460, and we ended up getting it for 450,000. The $10,000 ended up being pretty um, important to us because had we not got it down by that $10,000, it would have been difficult for us to afford it. We are enjoying being homeowners. We love our new house. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun so far. Um, just sort of enjoying being here and um, knowing that this is our place. We like knowing that we can buy things that we're gonna have you know, for a long time and focus on decorating the place. And so that's been kind of fun. We love our new kitchen. This might be our favorite room in the house. Yeah, we spend quite a bit of time here. Just a very open kitchen compared to our last one. Yeah, and we do love our appliances. They work very well, and I've taken to obsessively polishing them with stainless steel cleaner. So I really enjoy uh, spending a little bit of time outside. It was really important to me in the house to have some outdoor space so we could grill and um, just relax outside a little bit. It's great to be homeowners. You always sort of think about you know, moving out of the apartment and finally making that transition, so it's really nice for us to finally be settled in that way.